Hi, Tom Richardson for New England Boating, and today we're in the shop to show you how to make a proper marine terminal connection that'll stand up to harsh saltwater conditions. It all starts with the right wire, specifically marine grade tin copper wire like this. You can tell it's marine grade because it'll say so right on the spool and the insulation. Marine grade wire is important because it's made to withstand exposure to salt, sunlight, and petroleum products. Be sure to use the proper gauge wire based on the wire run and amperage. You can easily find this information online. Now that you've got the wire part figured out, the next step is to strip off just enough insulation so that the end of the wire will fit snugly inside the terminal sleeve. To make this job a snap, I recommend an automatic adjustable wire stripper like this one made by Anchor, which strips off the proper amount of insulation with a simple squeeze of the trigger. Ideally, you want to strip off just about a quarter of an inch of the insulation. Your terminal sleeve should also be marine grade and feature adhesive lined heat shrink tubing to ensure a watertight seal. Now insert the exposed end of the wire into the terminal sleeve until it butts up against the end of the terminal. Now find the proper size cavity on your ratcheting crimpers and apply even pressure to both sides of the sleeve to make the crimp. You want to be careful not to uh, compromise the heat shrink tubing around the terminal. By the way, always use ring terminals whenever possible in a marine application as they are much more secure than spade terminals. Once you've made the crimp, test it by tugging on the wire to make sure it doesn't slip out of the sleeve. The last step is to apply heat to the heat shrink tubing. While you can use a butane torch for this or even a lighter, I find that a heat gun like this one is a lot easier to control. While heating, turn the wire in your fingers to ensure that heat is evenly applied to all sides of the tubing. Keep heating until the adhesive begins to bubble out the ends of the tube. Once it's cooled, you've got a watertight terminal that's dressed for the elements. I'm Tom Richardson for New England Boating. Thanks for watching.